So in today's video, I'm going to show you how you can easily make a car disappear like in this example right here. It's easy and simple to do and should only take you minutes to shoot and edit everything. Now before I break down how I shot and edited the sequence, I want to give Storybox a big shout out for sponsoring this video. So Storybox is a spot where I head to to get assets from a video such as overlays, animated backgrounds, stock footage, and many other things. So it's been my way of bringing my projects to life and adding a little bit of spice to them. So their full library of royalty free assets is included in the really affordable unlimited all access plan. So with this, you'll be able to download as many assets as you want, try them all out until you find that right piece for your video or your project. So make sure to head over to storyblocks.com slash Brian Francisco to learn more about Storyblocks and see what they have on there that could help elevate your videos and possibly take it to another level. So now let me show you guys how to do this disappearing car effect. So all you need for this is your tripod and a camera. You can also use a smartphone if that's all you have. Just use whatever you have laying around at home. So the first shot you'll need is this car in the middle of the frame. We placed the coin right below where the subject was so we knew where he would fall in the next scene. I had this little controller that I used as part of the scene to make it seem like it was a magical piece that made things disappear. If you don't have anything like this, you can just snap your fingers or use a remote control that you have laying around at home. Anything you have should work. So once I press the button, I had the subject to stay still for just a few seconds. So once I was done filming that part, I had him drive the car out of the frame. For the second shot, I had my subject crouch down like he's still sitting in the car and then had him fall down as if the car disappeared on him. I had him act out the scene as if he was angry that I just made his car disappear. So now that we have all the clips that we need, I'll show you guys how I quickly edited this in Final Cut Pro 10. So since I made the original video for TikTok, this will be done in vertical format. We're going to place the car shot first with the subject in it. So right at the part where I click the button on the controller is where we will cut the clip. Place the second clip right beside it and cut at the part where your subject starts to fall down. So timing and cutting at the right frame is the main thing that will make this whole thing work. So make sure to take your time when finding the right framing and timing of each clip so that everything turns out great for you. So to keep the controller scene consistent, I duplicated the first clip, placed it underneath and stretched it out across the whole scene. Since I shot it in the lower half of the video, I can just use a draw mask tool and mask out the bottom half of the two clips which will keep this part of the video consistent. Now to add more to this effect, I'm going to use some overlays over at storyblocks.com just so that the video stands out a bit more. I'm going to try this fun animated smoke effect and place the timing of it right around the same time as I switch from clip 1 to clip 2. Also try out different overlays and animated effects, play around with it until you find the right one that looks good with what you're doing. Thank you guys for watching. So if you enjoyed this tutorial, make sure to like, subscribe, and hit the bell notification button so that whenever I post a new video similar to this one here, you guys will be notified. And also make sure to check out storyblocks.com and see if there's anything on there that can help elevate your next video project. I'll see you guys in the next one.